So, Kim here, Papa's fix a job. What you're looking at here is a tachometer. Um, let's see, I got it here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, that's a small package. Comes with a pickup coil. This is a Hall Effect, if you know what that means. Basically, it measures a waveform from an interrupted magnetic field. And so this is a sensor, and it, it comes with a little electric plug, little this white one right here that plugs in the back. And you have to supply it with 12 to 18 volts. So I never throw these power supplies away. This is some energizer from an old charger or something. And I just soldered them all in, made a little connector. I was trying to figure out how to mount it on there where I could have a nice display on the lathe. To start it, I needed a box. So this is a discarded drill index, a brand new one. I bought a set of numbered drills and put them in another index that I have. So I took this guy and on the back, cut it out. For that to go in there. And, oh yeah. I also put a little, little switch so I could turn it on and off. So anyway, This part is the cover. This is the cover for the electrical box on the back of the lathe. And so I just popped it off and drilled a couple of holes to mount this guy like that. So that's how it's going to work. Show it, show it when I get hooked up. I'll take some pictures and whatnot. Cool. So, I got my little tack, I can turn the display off and reset it with a switch real easy. Let's see what it does. I'm on high and middle, should be like 360, is that what it says? Four sixty. So the thing here says three sixty. It's going about a hundred RPM faster. Let's switch it to eleven fifty. It says. Yeah. Let me check it again. Hasn't moved. So, yeah. Take it back to low speeds. 
this should be the lowest speed, 60. Oops. What if I got it in gear? Eighty-seven. So my understanding of motor says that it's under a max load. It's going to give the RPM on that label, and this is just free spinning right now. Cool. So I got attack.